tons of interesting tech news today. One thing uh, is some info on the Nintendo Switch Pro release dates. We'll talk about that in a second. Might be farther off than we were hoping. We've also got news about some AMD GPUs. That's the Navi 23 with some specs completely different. Double um, one element of what was leaked originally. And apparently this has been confirmed by AMD, although that's from a leaked source. So anyway, we'll get into that as well as some information about a new Intel chip socket. And some, uh, let's you know start off with something somewhat related to that, which is you can now buy or at least pre-order some DDR5 memory for your computer. This is the uh, 32 gigabyte, it's a two by 16 gigabyte uh, pack, DDR5 4800 memory that um, again has already gone out of stock here at Newegg, but was also listed on Amazon and was listed for shipping in next month. You know, that's their shipping estimate. So who knows exactly what'll happen. So you can't quite actually get your hands on it yet, but this is the first one that I've seen go on sale. And maybe if you're expecting these to go out of stock like everything else PC related these days, maybe get in line if you're interested in this. Now, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna get that and stick it into my system, realize that no, there's actually no motherboard that this fits in. These are gonna be compatible with newer generations of Intel and AMD uh, motherboards and processors, including uh, ones that might be fitting into the Intel socket LGA 1700. There's my transition. So Igor's lab has a huge, very in-depth write-up on these sockets. So if you're interested in the LGA 1700 and LGA 1800 sockets, I will link this in my description and I highly recommend taking a look. Frankly, a lot of this is kind of over my pay grade as far as understanding the significance of much of it. But one thing that stood out to me is it has an asymmetrical design, which as we've seen, I believe in some asymmetrical AMD CPUs in the past that could be more difficult to cool. Although we'll see if this implementation ends up not having such a big issue. Also, it's moving from a 75 dot by 75 dot to a 78 by 78. Um, sizing, which means that I think some CPU coolers might not be compatible with this. So if you're intending to bring on your old cooler, that may or may not work. Um, again, a little bit uh, over my pay grade, the detail will be in the, um, in the description here. Not only that, but apparently you can actually buy one of these sockets. Now to be clear, not the motherboard itself, but the socket. I saw this reported over at videocards.com. And they're saying that over, uh, you know, in China, you can already buy the socket itself. And again, that would be more used in terms of like repairing a chip, uh, 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 like, like, uh, sorry, not a chip, a socket on a motherboard. You're not gonna be able to just slot this into an existing motherboard and make it work if you're planning on doing something like that. And apparently this pricing translates to about 5.4 US dollars. Let's jump over to something a little bit different, more gaming related. We've got cyberpunk news. And I just wanted to update that apparently cyberpunk developers say that they have now reached a satisfactory level of stability. We've also worked on the overall performance and we are quite satisfied with that. Of course, we have also fixed bugs and glitches and we will continue to do so. Over time, we will be introducing fixes to the general systems that players uh, have pointed out as needing improvement. Also, you guys have probably already seen it, but it's for sale again on the PS uh, PlayStation Marketplace, although with the warning that, you know, the base model PlayStation 4 is not gonna be the best way to play the game. Uh, well, I think this is overall cool that they've maybe now moved on to fixing other systems in the game that could be improved. Although in general, I liked Cyberpunk. I think it got a bad rap because of the, the low end consoles on a good PC. I thought it was a pretty fun game. Although yeah, it definitely has some issues. Anyway, um, also in more console related news, we've got the Nintendo Switch Pro, apparently the release coming 2022. A lot of people were hoping for a 2021 release, maybe in November holiday season, but it, this is apparently according to a Chinese Switch accessory manufacturer. It came from a tweet from Switch Up saying no Switch Pro in 2021, reliable peripheral, oh, uh, well, we'll go to the actual tweet itself here. <laughs> uh, reliable peripheral manufacturing source from China working 
on products to be adapted for it. Says they've been told 2022 global market release. Let's hope I'm wrong. Okay, now here's my thoughts on this. If First of all, I mean, this sounds pretty likely if this is an actual manufacturer saying that. I mean, you know, if you, leaks, you gotta, you gotta decide if you trust them or not. But if this is a 2022 release, when in 2022? I see only two relevant dates, in my opinion, for this. I don't you'd think you'd see it in like January or February because if you miss the holiday season, what's the point in launching in January? Now, to my knowledge, Nintendo's fiscal year uh, I believe resets in April. So it would make sense as one possible release date to launch a little bit before April. So I would say in March or maybe the very beginning of April at the latest as one possible release window for that. And then if they don't hit that target, I think it would make sense just to wait until the holiday season again, like November-ish. Um, so those, if it is a 22 release date, 2022 release date, those would be my predictions on when we would actually see that. Now, jumping back to some more PC-related stuff, we've got some information about the Navi 23 GPU, and previous leaks had pegged this at 32 ROPs, R-O-P's, and apparently that was wrong, and they're actually going to be 64. This is coming from Tech Power Up, and here, basically it was a post that looked like this. So... It is 64 ROPs. I personally confirmed the number with AMD. Edit, I had originally, so apparently he originally said CU instead of ROP. Anyway, um, so that's somewhat interesting here as far as what we're expecting from these. So theoretically, AMD says that they're shipping these already as mobile GPUs, 6600Ms. And I even did a video a bit ago where I found some Chinese site that had apparently benchmarked a laptop with a 6600M in it. Um, but as far as actually getting your hands on any of these, uh, I don't know. Like, 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 when will we actually get this thing? Hopefully soon. There is the Pro version of a card, um, sorry, the Radeon Pro W6600M, uh, which gives us some specs on, on what this, this chip would be, since that's based on this Navi 23 uh, chip. But as far as getting the actual gaming cards out here, I don't know. Um, it, this is also the one that's supposedly gonna be in the Tesla, and you know we have Elon Musk claiming that you know it's gonna have about the performance of a PlayStation 5 which I mean sounds roughly accurate since I think a PS5 is about like a 6700, although comparing these directly to, to desktop GPUs is a little bit, um, little bit tricky. Anyway, I'm, I'm interested in these chips. Hope, all I really hope though is that these come out with actually decent supply uh, as, as I'm sure we're all hoping, but if this is going into Tesla's and all that, then I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna get to see much better than we have with anything else. The folks over here at Video Cards reporting on this and lining up some of the uh, rumored specs. I could ah, shrink myself down uh, if you wanna take a quick look at any of that. Now notice here with this $649 pricing, don't, don't flip out about that. That's for the Pro model card. That's not for the for the discrete. I mean, not that's not for the gaming cards. That's because we have pricing on the Pro model W6600. So don't panic. Now, as far as what I would expect for the pricing on the game card, as if MSRP means anything right now, um, since I would expect the performance here to be at least around as good as, if not better than, like a 5700 XT, um, I would expect this to be. And then, uh, like, like that's comparing to the older AMD cards, and then the M the NVIDIA equivalent, whether it's exactly lined up or not, for a, you know, 600 class, you know, card should be somewhere in the ballpark of NVIDIA 3060, which is what, 329? I don't think this could be too far off from 329. I would expect it to be in the 300 to $350 range, depending on whether it ends up performing a little bit better or a little bit under the uh, the RTX 3060. Anyway, that's my thoughts on all of this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you to my subscribers. You guys are beautiful people. And extra special thank you to my channel members who clicked that join button, which helps financially support the channel. Thank you so much. Have an excellent day.